Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel, Peter. Boom, 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 boom. Review stuff. And if you are watching this on December 24th, Merry Christmas Eve. Happy Christmas Eve. How are you guys doing? Oh my God, I am so excited to do this review today. Um, I kind of stumbled across this secret menu drink when I was looking for Christmas drinks. And it's not necessarily a Christmas drink, but what's funny about this is that I'm running around, I'm doing some last minute shopping today, and I was like, I want to, all these cars all of a sudden are like driving around. I'm like, this woman is like driving around next to me over here. And I'm like, oh, she's, parking like I'm like dude like seriously she just parked right next to me I'm like is she filming me oh my lord I like separate hold on a second sweetie okay I know I'm doing a review video but let me get ready for my uh paparazzi here <laughs> okay now I am prepared but anyway what is so funny about this is that I said on my vlog last night, uh, so if you don't know, I have a vlog. I drive around in a car every day for an hour or more, and I just talk and tell stories of my life. Anyway, um, but I had said that I wanted to get some kind of Christmassy drink today. That I did, you know, I didn't know if I was going to get this, which I am going to get this. <laughs> my, this, <laughs> this, this right here, okay? This is your life. Okay, but anyway, um, I said that I was going to get some kind of like... <laughs> She is literally like up in the mirror looking at her um, mouth or her teeth or something. But anyway, I know I threw this out. Don't come for me, you bunch of hippies. Okay. So anyway, but I am going to get my uh, regular coffee. Ah, I am going to get my regular coffee. But I said in my vlog last night that I wanted to get some kind of like secret menu, Christmassy kind of drink or one of their menu Christmas drinks because it's Christmas. Why wouldn't you, right? So when I came across this secret menu drink, I was so, so excited. Now, the drink that we're going to do today is the... Starbucks secret menu hot butter beer latte. Now I will tell you that if you Google Starbucks secret menu uh, or Starbucks butter beer, there's like butter beer frappuccino, butter beer espresso. There's all kinds of different recipes that come up. So this is the one that I am going to do today, um, and I'm really excited about it. So about two years ago, I ventured down the road of attempting to read all of the Harry Potter books. Okay, I have made it four books in, and I still have three to go. Those are some long ass books. My God, I feel so bad for the moms and dads today, when I was growing up, the bedtime story was like Nate the Great or Amelia Bedelia. Do you guys remember Amelia Bedelia so much? I wanted to be Amelia Bedelia. I thought she had so much fun. I was like, oh my god, I want to be Amelia Bedelia. She was a maid, right? And that's why I wanted to be a maid, but then I realized that maids don't really have that much fun. I, I kind of do love to clean, though it is kind of one of my favorite things, but I don't know, like, there's, anyway, so, they made, they glamorized it. I mean, that Amelia Bedelia, it was just a trick. They glamorized it, but anyway. So, those were the books that we read back in the day. Do you remember that one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, or whatever back in the day, or Go Dog Go, or, those were those little books, okay, that you could finish, like, and before you finish it, the kid was asleep, the kid being me, but today, now you have to read 300 pages of a Harry Potter book. I, what is that? Oh, my God. No, thank you. That's why I have dogs. Okay. Anyway, I mean, if I'm like with the dogs, I'll sit there and I'll go, and Harry Potter was 15, and then the book's over. They don't know the difference anyway. They're just looking at me like, Dad. So anyway, I was so excited when this came across this because I have, you know, of course, read four of the books now, or listened to them. I listened to them on Audible, the Jim Dale version, which is fantastic. So anyway, but is it the Great Hall? Is that where they have their dinners and stuff? The Great Hall at Christmas time is always like that imagery to me is just like so fantastic for like a Christmas imagery. And so when I came across this, even though the butter beer is from town, it's not from uh, what do you call it, the Great Hall at Hogwarts. I still thought like this is a really Christmassy kind of drink. They go in here in the article and they talk about it. They say, um, and this is from StarbucksSecretMenu.net. They say, I have a hair hanging off of my, I don't know, if, <laughs> Jacqueline Hill's lipsticks. Okay. With fall upon us and colder weather coming, it's great. It, if you don't know, you don't know. It's great to have hot options for popular recipes. Here's a latte version of the popular butterbeer frappuccino. I'm just not really in the mood for a frappuccino today, and I want to actually drink this drink. So, um, both are a must-try for any diehard Harry Potter fan. And it goes in here, and it says, thanks to Bridget H. for sending in this re recipe. Thank you, Bridget! Oh, my God, Bridget, you're so sweet. So, anyway, we're going to go in here, and we're going to try this. Now, what I just realized is I do not have any... Oh, my God, the line at Starbucks is so long today. What is going on? Now there's another car and he's coming to meet her. Do you think that's like a tender hookup in the parking lot behind Starbucks? 
love on Christmas Eve. It's like a Hallmark. We don't like Hallmark anymore. They don't like the gays, apparently, so they can kick it. Hallmark, you can kick it. I'm over that. I'm real upset, too, because, listen, do you ever watch something, like, for a long time, and then you think, like, you know the title of it, but it's not really the title of it? Whoo, it's hot. I was really hoping for a white Christmas. It is 57 degrees, okay? You want to see the snow that I got for Christmas? It's right there. It's called Slush. Anyway, okay. I have this favorite Christmas movie of mine, okay? True story. I'm going to show it to you right here so you can say, no, it's the truth of the nature all day long. So, I have a favorite Christmas movie, and it is called Season of Miracles, okay? Uh, but what's so funny about this is, okay, here it is. You can see right here. Um, it's... Do you see? I'm like halfway through it right now. I started watching it last night. But, okay, I swore for the last 20 years it was called Season of Miracles. It's called Season 4 Miracles. <gasps> Can you imagine my surprise? I was better! I was like, oh my god, I've been telling everybody to watch Season of Miracles and it's Season 4 Miracles. I felt like such an idiot. But anyway, I don't watch the Hallmark Movie Channel anymore because they hate the gays. Did you hear about all this? It doesn't matter anyway. They don't like us. They said kick rocks to the gays. And the gays said, well, well, we won't buy your cards anymore. Okay? We are artsy and we are creative. So we will make our own cards. Okay? And we will watch your shows and your movies without telling anybody. Okay? Just like every all the gays ate the Chick-fil-A and didn't tell anybody. That's what we'll do. Okay? We'll just hide our faces and we'll act like we're good gays. But anyway, I'm totally joking. So anyway, these people in front of me, they have no clue what they want to get at all. I'm like, have you never been to a Starbucks in your entire life? Come on. By the way, I do want to um, give a, spe a very, very special shout out to somebody. Um, so I ha gave the other night, I g the other day in here, I gave a shout out to all my good Judy's up at the Anderson Hoosier Park Casino who are so fantastic, okay? To me and my good Judy that we go up there, my, my friend Valerini, okay? They are so good to us and they are so nice and they make our, like, the people that work there are so fantastic. The customer service is fantastic. They are so friendly and I shouted out a bunch of people the other day. So I want to shout out a special person that I left out, and that is Bill, and Bill is one of the most fantastic people, he is always friendly, he is so cool, he always comes up and says hi, and makes sure that he's always like, are you having a good time, and I'm like, yeah, and he jokes with me, and so anyway, I just want to give a special shout out to Bill, and um, so yeah, so Merry Christmas, Bill, and um, I need to do more, like, just local shout outs to people, <laughs> but nobody watches my videos, so why would it matter? Oh my god, I should probably give a shout out to my cousin Caroline. My cousin Caroline on the side of my uh, grandma that went to prison. My grandma, you, she went to prison. Did you know that? <laughs> if you didn't know that my grandma went to prison, you probably don't watch any of my videos, because I've talked about it 15 million times in here. Okay, well this line is so incredibly long. Hold on a second. We're, it's now our turn. Okay, now I can take my uh, phone. Oh my lord. Um, <laughs> I love that ass told by Kenya. She's always telling somebody to get a job. Okay, we're gonna order this drink now. You ready? Okay. Starbucks, can, get started for you? can I get a venti iced coffee with one equal and I have my own cup? Alright, anything else for you? Yeah, and then I have another drink. Can I give you, like, uh, how to make it? Sure. Okay, I need a, it's just, uh, I guess it's just a grande coffee. Okay. And then I need three pumps of caramel, caramel syrup. Alright. Three pumps of toffee nut syrup. Okay. Three pumps of cinnamon dolce syrup. Alright. Um, a shot of espresso. Okay. And whipped cream. Alright. Anything else for you? Nope, that's it. It's gonna be 763. Okay, thanks. Thank you. And that is the Butterbeer Latte from Starbucks, and I'm so excited to try it. Okay, the line is really long, so I'm going to stop here because I'm at 8 minutes and 45 seconds, and I don't want you guys to have to watch 25 minutes of me just talking about random BS, which is what every single one of my videos is. Hi, Merry Christmas. Okay, that's the gift that keeps on giving, my review channel. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. By the way, while I'm giving shout-outs, I want to give another shout-out to uh, my good Judy, Sam. <laughs> the Sam that works up at the casino. I know! I know they're all my casino people. I love all my casino people, but I want to give a special shout-out, not to my friend uh, Sam, but to her mother, okay? And her mother knows who she is, because I see her all the time. And I want to say to her mother, Sam, you need to show this to her mother. 
your mother. You should have bought your daughter a $25 gift card to Starbucks for Christmas. I'm just saying, okay? She likes her chai latte. So I did this video uh, about the chai latte with, I think it was with uh, the one, <laughs> I don't know why I almost called him Tristan. I don't even know anybody named Tristan <laughs> with Josh. But anyway, and then Sam ended up getting the chai latte and now she's like hooked on the chai latte. And so whenever I see her, she's always like, I love the chai latte. And I'm like, so anyway, Sam's mom, you should have got her the $25 gift card for Starbucks. This girl in front of me, you want to tell you what is so funny about this? Okay, so it's this mom and then the girl. And the girl looks like she's probably 15 or 16. And she got her a venti. Are you ready for this? Oh, pinkity, drinkity. Oh, my God, I bet she loves James Charles. Do you think she has any idea who is behind her? <laughs> Hi, it's me. I'm a drama channel. Anyway, I mean, I'm a little review channel of the world. So anyway. Okay. Uh, well, I thought that we were ready, but I guess we're not. <laughs> How are you guys doing? What do you want for Christmas this year? <laughs> Last night, true story, I went around and I was looked everywhere. Okay, they're done. I was looking everywhere for a light bright for um, my um, nephews. Don't you hate, like this is what I hate, is when people like get their stuff. She got a scone with a pinkity drinkity. That doesn't sound very good, does it? And then she's putting another coffee in the back seat for somebody else. I wonder who that's for. So anyway, um, do you remember light brights back in the day? I was looking for a light bright. For, do they not make them anymore? <laughs> it's because they're so like 50 years old. But I was looking for a light bright last night for my nephews because I thought they would have a lot of fun with them. But let me just tell you what I did find is that they have little, because this is a review channel, I found all these different different play uh, Play-Doh kits and they're adorable and they're going to love them. And if they don't, they better tell me that they love them anyway. Tanner! What's going on? Merry Christmas, Tanner. You too. How are you? Good. So it's 763. You got any plans tonight? Oh, you know, family. <laughs> <laughs> you? Yeah, we always go to Texas Roadhouse, my family. Does. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah. Well, my husband's Venezuelan, so it starts at 8 and it goes till 8 a.m. Dang. Yeah, no, it'll go late. Wait, what? Peter, is this your pipe that I'm making? What is this? What? Josh is so confused. He doesn't know he's making butter beer. It's butter beer, Josh. Butter beer. Ah, okay, that makes sense. I'm like, what are all these pumps in here? Okay. <laughs> no chai though. Okay, I'm gonna stop this again because this is. I don't. <laughs> Why do mummies love Christmas? Oh, hold on. We need another joke before I stop the camera. I have been singing that or listening to that Billie Eilish album like nonstop for like the last two days and I just literally have it like on repeat in my head the different songs and it's absolutely driving me crazy at this point. They are running around like crazy in here. Give you a little Merry Christmas. Hey, top. why do mummies love Christmas? They love all the wrapping, of course. Thanks. You guys have a great Christmas. You too. See okay, you. bye. They are manic in there today running around. It's craziness. Okay, we're gonna go back to our same spot. Will this be so funny if that girl is still sitting there and we go back to the same spot? Woo! But Harry. <laughs> I can't do an English accent to save my life. <clears throat> oh, she is still sitting over there. <laughs> Guess what? I don't care. Kick rocks. Oh, she's not sitting in her car anymore. I bet somebody picked her up and they went Christmas shopping. That's what I bet. And they said, let's meet at the parking lot behind Starbucks. And then her friend was like, oh, you mean where Peter Mon always does reviews? And she's like, who's Peter Mon? And she's like, okay, so this is the Butterbeer Latte. Are you ready? I'm going to put a little picture of Harry Potter in there, so. <laughs> I'm excited. I don't want to taste it first because I want to be surprised. He said he put a little, oh my God, you guys want to see this? Hold on, it looks so pretty. Look at that. Don't you love that, that you get like the full shot right there on it? Okay. Should we try it like this? I think so. Now I've never had, ooh, that is good. That is really, really good and I can really strongly taste the coffee because but it tastes like, it's kind of hard to explain. Like it's coffee, but like it tastes like, I mean, it's obviously the shot of espresso that I can taste in there. It 
That is really, really good. Now, I've never had the butter beer. I actually was gonna order it on Amazon and I was gonna try it on here. It's not real beer, you know, it's uh, fakety fakeities. Because it's the stuff that they drink in Harry Potter. If you don't know, they drink butter beer on Diagon Alley. Anyway, and I wanted to go to Harry Potter World forever so I can taste it, but that's not a reason to go to an amusement park. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't go to Disney World or King's Island. Y'all know King's Island's in Cincinnati. You wouldn't go to Six Flags or <laughs> King's Island or Disney World just to taste their Pepsi. <laughs> so why would you go to Harry Potter World to taste their butterbeer? You wouldn't. This is good. Um, I mean, it really tastes just like... A, a, you can taste the espresso in it. If you aren't a strong coffee lover, I wouldn't get it with the espresso. But it is very, very strong. and um, But it's very creamy, too. Like, it's a... Like a, a strong brew creamy which is kind of what gives it that kind of buttery taste to it it is really good though i'd give it like i mean i would actually really order this again this is like it is hot though i mean it, this is no christmas eve with snow melting and 57 degrees outside we might as well be in florida and florida's not christmas for all you people out there that live in florida you're like what do you mean florida's not christmas um i would probably give this a 4.7 this is really good And it's very, it's very, I don't even know, just Christmassy, wintry. Like, it's a really good drink. Like, if you're really cold outside, but you want something that's kind of tasty, but kind of, like, wakes you up, like, it's that. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a 4.7 or a 4.8. It's really good. Let's give it a 4.8. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you've tried the secret menu drink, if you haven't, go try it, and then let me know what you think about it. Okay, I do not have a giveaway. Look at this, right? This little light of mine, I'm gonna make it shine. Oh, this little light of mine, I'm gonna make it shine. Okay, uh, do you see that right there? Okay, I don't have a giveaway to announce today because I gave the last two in the last video and I didn't even realize that. So, but I am doing a giveaway today and it is a $25 Starbucks gift card for Christmas Eve. My big giveaway was on the 17th. Did you not know that? Okay, so it's a $25 gift card. All you have to do in the comment section below is just comment whatever you wanna comment. Say something nice to somebody out there and say, I don't know, Merry Christmas to everybody that watches Peter's videos. But you can't put that because I just said that and then that would be cheating and cheaters never win. Anyway, I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas Eve. Oh my God! And Sally Jo is at home and it's she's recuperating from last night. So anyway, she wanted me to wish you guys a Merry Christmas too. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.